Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Eileen He. The Cabinet has decided the Banda Makota Cheras Access Road will remain open for now. Works Minister Datuk Muhammad Zin Muhammad says the road will remain open until the court decides on the matter. Dan uh, oleh kerana perkara ini telah pun menjadi uh, kepentingan awam, uh, pihak Grand Saga pun telah pun uh, bersetuju uh, supaya uh, uh, bekerjasama dengan pihak uh, kerajaan uh, supaya laluan ini dapat dibuka dan dalam waktu yang sama pihak Grand Saga uh, dengan uh, uh, pihak uh, Narajaya yang uh, uh, perkara yang berbangkit masih lagi dalam uh, pertimbangan uh, mahkamah dan kita harap uh, keputusan mutamad akan dapat uh, diselesaikan oleh uh, melalui proses perundangan The matter was discussed at the cabinet meeting on Friday morning Muhammad Zin says the government has taken into consideration the inconvenience caused to Banda Makota Cheras residents because of the barricade placed on the access road there. He adds that residents of Banda Makota Cheras can now use the access road and there will no longer be congestion there. He urges residents to calm down and hopes they will not take the law into their own hands. Perak wants the previous state government to explain how this year's 8 million ringgit development fund has been spent in less than three months. State Senior Executive Council member Dato Nge Ku Ham says the government is shocked at the way the fund meant for small projects have been spent. Nge says that he discovered that the entire sum was spent before or during the March 8 general election. He says the fund consists of 75,000 ringgit allocation to each Barisan State Assemblyman and an additional 100,000 ringgit to each State Exco member. He said this at a press conference in Ipoh Friday. AMNO veteran Tengku Razale Hamza will now will not drop out of the race for the AMNO presidency even if party president Datuk Sri Abdullah Ahmad Badawi steps down. Tengku Razale, the Guam Musang AMNO division chief and a former party vice president, has offered to Y for the presidency in the party poll schedule in December. However, he has to garner 30% nominations from the AMNO divisions to enable him to contest. For more updates, log on to the staronline.tv. I'm Eileen He. Thanks for watching.